Hello and welcome to Why We Lead, educating today's warfighters to be modern and effective military leaders. Hello everybody and welcome to the third video of Why We Lead. Today I'm going to be talking about obviously leadership, but also about reading and why it's so important for a leader to read and continue to grow. We're going to hear a little bit about General Mattis and his philosophy on reading, but what he's not going to tell you in the video clip that I'm going to show you is that he's read about 7,000 books and he's kind of famous for quoting I've never been fl caught flat-footed in any situation. And, and what he means by that, I think, is he's always had a glimpse of some sort of light at the end of the tunnel in any situation that he's ever been in based solely off of other people's experiences that he's not been able to experience himself. And that's why to grow as a leader, you need to be able to do things that other people have seen, witnessed, conquered, seen what hasn't worked, um, and read about it because you're probably not going to be able to experience those until you're actually in a situation you're like oh I wish I would have really been able to have done that and then I'm going to show you a little bit about the website but reading I think is essential kind of what I'm reading now is Global Hawk by Rick Thomas um, one of many books that I've been trying to read but specifically um, since we PCS'd about two years ago, I've had about a 35 minute drive to work as well. And instead of just listening to music, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start downloading audiobooks and all that stuff. So not only paperbacks or hardbacks or however you like to read, but also audiobooks are a fantastic way. And you can even fast forward them a quarter speed or half speed, whatever you prefer to do. So without further ado with reading, let's hear a little bit from General Mattis now. You stay teachable most by reading books, by reading what other people went through. I can't tell you the number of times I looked down at what was going on on the ground or I was engaged in a fight somewhere and I knew within a couple of minutes how I was going to screw up the enemy. And I knew it because I'd done so much reading. I knew what I was going to do because I'd seen other similar situations in the reading. I knew how they'd been dealt with successfully or unsuccessfully. And so long as you continue along this line, so long as you remember somebody on the other side is watching, hoping that you're not at the top of your game, that you're not reading, that you're not working out, that you're not strong spiritually, then they're going to think they've got you. You want to always be the toughest, the sharpest out there. So after watching that little clip of Mattis, do you think you're at the top of your game? I know that I can always improve. And I think reading is a very profound way in which you can help yourself develop as a leader, kind of like self-development, if you will. With that being said, I've put together a small kind of little walkthrough on whywelead.org, the website. We also have the Facebook page, but I'm going to focus on this because we have a book suggestion page, which I'm going to share with you now. So now I just wanted to show you a little bit about the website, Why We Lead, because there is some reading list material on there and since today's topic is reading uh, it's a good resource to use so here's the website got a bunch of articles that we've written uh, mission vision statement down there there's the intro video and then also links to social media accounts as well so here's book suggestions we'll get, which we'll get to in a second submit an article if you would like to have your article posted here after it gets edited and everything videos so the video that we're doing right now will be posted here contact information, and then about, which is kind of a repeat of the mission and vision statement, as well as some sister sites, which I think are good as well. So let's go ahead and click on book suggestions. And I've kind of made it pretty simple, but all these are clickable links. So ACSC, Air Command and Staff College reading list for the officers out there, as well as School of Advanced Air and Space Studies, or SAS, which is about 130 books in total. That's pretty intense. Anyway, if you click on them, I'll click on the book I showed you in the video earlier, Global Hawk. Um, just trying to read up on my aircraft a little bit more. And it's just going to link you to the Amazon account. If there's anything that you ever like for me to add on this website, please uh, feel free and email me. Thanks so much. So my hope with that was maybe you got a starting point, maybe you found some books to read through that. Uh, please let me know if you need a reference point for anything else. I'd be happy to help. And please subscribe to us on Facebook and check out the website. I'm also on LinkedIn as well. And just a reminder, all of those social media tags are on whywelead.org. Thanks for your time and have a wonderful day.